All right, let's jump into Dragon Ball Z, a story where martial arts, aliens, and mystical powers collide in an epic adventure that's been loved worldwide. Imagine a world where there's this unassuming guy named Goku, who's the friendliest, happiest, most powerful fighter on Earth. Goku loves food, he loves his friends, and he loves training to become even stronger. But here's the twist, he's not actually from Earth. Goku is part of an alien warrior race called the Saiyans. The Saiyan Saga, where things get wild. Our story kicks off when Goku's long-lost brother Raditz lands on Earth in a spaceship, rocking armor and a long monkey-like tail. He's come to deliver some shocking news. Goku isn't a human, but a Saiyan. A powerful race of warriors who conquer planets and sell them to the highest bidder. Goku was originally sent to Earth as a baby to destroy it, but he hit his head, lost his memory, and grew up as a kind, strong, Earth-loving guy instead. Raditz tries to recruit Goku for a Saiyan mission, but Goku refuses. Things get serious fast as Raditz kidnaps Goku's young son, Gohan, to force Goku into helping him. So Goku joins forces with his former enemy, Piccolo, a powerful green-skinned warrior with antennae. Yes, he's a bit alien too. Together, they confront Raditz in an intense battle. Goku sacrifices himself to defeat his brother, who warns them that two even stronger Saiyans, Vegeta and Nappa, will come to Earth next. After Goku's death, he travels to the afterlife to train with a godlike martial arts master named King Kai, to prepare for this ultimate showdown. The arrival of Vegeta and Nappa. The stakes are raised. While Goku is training in the afterlife, his friends on Earth, known as the Z Fighters, train to prepare for the Saiyan invasion. The Z Fighters include Goku's best friend Krillin, the desert bandit Yamcha, a three-eyed fighter named Tien, and of course, Piccolo. They're all powerful fighters, but Vegeta and Nappa are in a league of their own. When the Saiyans arrive, they lay waste to Earth's defenses. Vegeta, the proud and powerful Saiyan prince, and Nappa, his brutish sidekick, are far stronger than anything the Z fighters have faced. It's an all-out war to protect the planet, and just when things look bleak, Goku finally returns, stronger than ever. In an epic showdown, Goku defeats Nappa and then faces Vegeta in a battle that's now legendary in anime history. Vegeta is tough, and the fight leaves both fight fighters battered, but Goku wins Vegeta's respect. Vegeta retreats, but he's not out of the picture yet. The Freezer Saga, the battle heads to space. After recovering, Goku and his friends head to a distant planet called Namek to find the Dragon Balls, seven magical orbs that, when gathered, summon a dragon who can grant any wish. Namek is also Piccolo's home planet, and it turns out Vegeta is headed there too, looking to use the Dragon Balls to wish for immortality. But there's a new, even greater threat, Freezer, a ruthless alien turret who's conquered planets across the galaxy. Freezer is terrifying, with multiple forms that each reveal a more powerful version of himself. He's on naming, also after the Dragon Balls, and he doesn't care who he destroys to get them. What follows is an escalating series of battles as Goku and his allies face off against Frieza's forces, leading up to the legendary battle between Goku and Frieza himself. In this epic fight, Frieza pushes Goku to his absolute limits, even destroying the planet's core in a last ditch effort to win. But in the heat of the battle, Goku reaches a state called Super Saiyan, transforming into a golden-haired warrior of unmatched strength. It's a form that Saiyans can only reach in moments of intense rage and need. Fueled by his friend's sacrifices, Goku overpowers Frieza in an explosive finale. The Android Saga, new threats, new allies. After the battle with Frieza, Goku and friends think they've saved the universe for good, but peace doesn't last long. Years later, a new threat emerges, a series of deadly androids designed by an evil scientist named Dr. Jero who has a personal vendetta against Goku. These androids are cold, calculating, and unbelievably powerful. Among them are Android 17, 18, and the monstrous Cell, who's designed to become perfect by absorbing other androids. In a surprising twist, Vegeta, now living on Earth, has softened somewhat, and is training just as hard to surpass Goku. This rivalry drives both of them to push their powers even further. The android saga brings back Goku's son, Gohan, who starts to shine as a major hero. In the climactic battle against Cell, it's Gohan, not Goku, who steps up to save the Earth. He transforms into a Super Saiyan 2, an even stronger form, and defeats Cell with one of the most iconic moves in the series, the Kamehameha. The Majin Buu Saga, the final threat. Just when you think it's all over, we meet Majin Buu, a bubbly pink creature who looks innocent, but is one of the most dangerous beings in the universe. Buu is like a magical, shape-shifting monster who can turn his enemies into candy and eat them. He's ancient, incredibly powerful, and seemingly impossible to defeat. Throughout the Majin Buu saga, 
we see transformations that go beyond even Super Saiyan 2. Goku, Vegeta, and the rest of the Z fighters are pushed to their breaking points, trying to contain Buu. And in the end, it's Goku's spirit, courage, and the support of his friends that finally bring Buu down in an epic showdown. Dragon Ball Z is all about these huge battles, incredible friendships, and relentless self-improvement. It's got humor heartbreak, and some of the most powerful transformations in anime. And even though it's packed with action, it's ultimately a story about never giving up, no matter how impossible the fight.